Okay. Uh, it, it, it's been a little bit since I last recorded. Five days. Um, not on purpose, but I think I mentioned that I'm having this problem where I have a hard time starting, like, recording when I'm not home alone. Which fucking sucks, because I was, like, fine. <laughs> Finally. And then, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can record when I'm not home alone, but starting, like, beginning, it's just in being like, okay, now I'm gonna start recording. That's the part that's impossible for me. Well, not impossible, but really hard for me. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to continue then. Um, I mean, let's see if I remember where I haven't gone in here. <laughs> um, but obviously I have notes, as always, um, from editing. Um, I haven't edited last part yet, though. That's why I'm unsure of where I have been and haven't been. But I'll recognize when I walk around a little bit. Um, but um, I want to mention what Trench said about Dr. Darling. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. And I'm thinking, like, does mean the hiss? Like, is uh, that um, Dr. Darling is um, studying the hiss? So that would make sense. Oh, yeah, did I read this one? Hold on. Old Boys Club. Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. And this will investigate the training course thing. Won't kill enemies without dying. Zero out of 50. Jesus Christ. How long is it going to take me to do that? Like, ugh. Okay, I, just yesterday I edited part seven. Ugh. It's so frustrating because I was pretty close. I had, I had a really good progress on it. And then I forgot about it and, you know, pretty much, like, died on purpose to test how far I could get in that, um, that place with all the weird shit that, like, kills you fast on the ground. You know what I mean? I don't know what to call it. It's just so frustrating because I was literally like, oh, the control point is right there. So there's no worries here. There's no fears. And then right after I died, I said, oh, survival tactics. <laughs> All right, I have clearance level three. I still haven't gone back to look for clearance level two doors, and now clearance level three doors. I, I need to do that. I'm going to try to do that this part. Oh. But yeah, that's something I'm curious about, like what is putting everyone in danger about what Dr. Darling said. Because like, I think, I think they said, he said this when I was like distracted about him being, apparently being shirtless. No, that wasn't something Trench said. That was something that, um, the guy whose eye clipped through his eyeball said, sorry, it'll come to, everything will come back to me soon. I just. Like, I just recently woke up, so I'm a little weird. Um, oh, also this, I assumed the trench killed Nortmar, but because of the picking up gun thing, but that that's like, that's how you be become director, by picking up the guns, so it doesn't mean he killed them. But I still think it's possible that he might have killed them. I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out, that like, I know that that's, that doesn't necessarily mean that he killed them. <laughs> I just didn't think about it in the moment. Oh, right. I wanted to go back and talk to Ati because I did that mission for him in part seven and I, I said in that video that I should maybe go back and talk to him, but I never did, so I should do that after I clear this location, the logistics. Oh, well, maybe not because look up there is so much shit. This is the consequence of what you've done. Ugh. I was gonna talk about um, nerdy prudes, prudes must must be, 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 be. nerdy prudes must die like which is great uh, but then I I I remembered that um, yesterday I found out well last night I found out that um, life by you was canceled by paradox I'm so fucking upset about it I don't know if I cut it out of the video I said this in. I think I might have, because it was kind of like, because I because I had found out that 
they had delayed it. Um, so I, I, I didn't, I think I might have edited out of the video when I talked about it, my plans with, with it, but I was going to play Life by You on the channel. And I was really fucking excited for that game, just in general. It looked so good, so much fun. And it was clearly like a passion project. And the very, very small team was that was working on it was like creating something amazing and fun and something like for fans of the uh, life simulation games. Where we can create whatever we want. Okay. Get reacquainted with this. Okay, everything, everything's fine. Um, but yeah, like it really looked like a passion project. And, like I could tell when watching all of the videos that they put out that they were so excited about it and like they really loved making it. Or at least they loved the game that much. Um, oh. Well. Plus two projectiles is plus three. That's awesome. Um, like I am 1000% sure this is this whole, all of the shit, the cancellation of the game, like the game was canceled. Yeah, like I'm 1000% sure that it is just corporate greed, as always. Because the way they were posting, like up to the, the, it was originally meant to come out in June. The early access was meant to start in June. I think it was like early June. I don't recall exactly, but um, it was supposed to be in early access right now. Like, but suddenly, and they were like posting weekly like these videos they were they had reached out to a bunch of content creators who were like making videos for their channel like being like oh hey this is what's, what life by you is it like this is how you do this so you do this like a bunch of content creators that i recognized from playing the sims and stuff and um they were doing like a series modding series showing exactly how to do shit and like oh this is what's coming up and then all of a sudden i realized that they hadn't posted in a while and I was like, huh, oh, that's weird. They were going to like post really regularly until it came out. And so I checked their YouTube channel, no new videos. So, and so I went to their YouTube community tab, which is when I noticed like they had posted this kind of vague and weird post about how, oh, actually we're delaying it again, but we're not giving you a date this time which was weird because they seemed so on track to release the early access. Like they seemed so on track so ready, like nothing was in their way. The game looked good, it looked playable, you know? Like even if, even though it would definitely have a bunch of bugs, it looked ready for early access. So like, I think a part of me was like, when I saw that, like, knew on some level that it was over um, because they had they didn't make a video about it every other time they delayed anything they, there was a full-on video that they put out where like rod humble was talking about it and talking about the reasons why and um, what this means and like apologizing and stuff like every single time that's what it was like. And this time, I didn't even know that it was happening because there was, they didn't post it on, in a video. Like, there was no video, you know? Um, yeah, so, uh, so 
Sorry, I don't know if I feel like part of I feel like I forgot to say certain bits of what I was trying to say, so it kind of didn't make sense. But it's just it's really upsetting. And you know what? Let me just take it off my list. <laughs> Life for you early access unknown. We know now. Never. It's just upsetting because they put so much work into it, and it looked. And now nobody's ever gonna get to play it. We saw the game, we saw how it worked, how it played. We saw all of these amazing tools that they were giving us that they used to create the game and how much cool shit they, they could do, but it's just so upsetting. Ugh. I don't wanna talk about that. So Nerdy Prudes Must Die. I recently watched it because um, Angela from Smosh, who is also Angela from Star Kid, <laughs> um, was in it, and I was like interested because I love her. Because I recently got into Smosh again. I used to watch them a lot when I was younger, and then I stopped. And then I just got into it again, and I realized that oh my god, wait, the new people, the new new people in Smosh are actually so fucking funny. Like they're actually funny because. I kind of fell out of love with Smosh because I was realizing that I didn't really find them funny anymore. Like, it was sort of feeling like... Um, like Disney Channel humor, like humor for young children. It was starting to feel like, which I now know is because was because of Defy. But also like, some of them I just didn't really find funny anymore. Um, but then I looked at the videos and I was like wait the new members are actually all hilarious like I actually think they're all so fucking funny like so I just fell in love with Smosh all over again and which led me to Star Kid and the rest is history now Nerdy Prudes Must Die like the song Nerdy Prudes Must Die is stuck in my brain <laughs> so it's great um which I already knew about Star Kid, but I had never given them a chance. I knew about them because of Jaren Chris, because I'm a huge fan of Glee. Um, are you kidding me? Alright, leave me alone. Oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Can y'all leave me alone? Jesus Christ. God, I'm gonna die. It is so over. Please, tell me it's over. Oh my god. God, okay. Sorry, I've been talking a bit too much. I just, that's what happens when I don't record for five days. I feel like I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> and I, I, I am not a multitasker. I try to be, but I'm not good at it. Uh. All right, wasn't it like, yeah, I only had moving forward left. Yeah, right, sorry. I completely forgot. It's like, yeah, that makes sense. Cause I wouldn't want to leave like a bunch of shit undone. When, before ending the video, so I'm sure like I only had this to do going forward. So, um, let's go talk to Adi real fast. Let's see if he has anything to say. Um, where is he? Um, hmm. oh, this is the close one to ventilate to janitor's office. So, um, ventilation. So let's go there.
Interact with control point to revive at that location after dying. This is something I already know. Wait, how am I doing on... Ooh, I'm halfway through the kill enemies without dying. I forgot to say this part, but I am finishing that today. Whether it's in this part or the next part, because I'm recording. I usually record two parts per day. It is... I am doing it today, okay? I just want that to be clear. <laughs> Janus office, okay, yeah. They've respawned. I can feel that they're going to respawn. Is it over there? Straight ahead? Yep. Who will pray for you when your body is gone? This is the consequence of what you done. Oh, what was that? Oh, I must have missed this somehow. Dodge efficiency. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. It's the same. <gasps> there you are. Okay. Did it? So it didn't. You have a mission for me or something? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, another order. Oh, okay, yeah. What a mess. Clear the clock. Oh, it's back? I just edited that part, so. Hmm. Okay, it's back. What a mess. Clear the clock. Jesse helps Ati by clearing the clock from the pump station. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Pray for you. Which said the easiest way to get there is to take the to fast travel to um the furnace. So let's do that. That seems to be the quickest way. Oh, wait, is that? Oh yeah. Dirty dudes must die. Dirty dudes must die. Wait, did I say that specifically the song Nerdy Prudes Must Die is the one I've been I've been obsessed with? Or just a Dirty Dudes? Because it's Dirty Dudes Must Die that I'm obsessed with. I mean, I, I love Nerdy Prudes Must Die. Nerdy Dudes. <laughs> nerdy Prudes Must Die song too. <laughs> My God. Sorry, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Um, but Angela is just so fucking good in Dirty Dudes Must Die. So that's like, I love that one. I also love the... <laughs> The I don't remember what it's called like the the sexual fantasy song, but I I haven't like learned the words to it yet, so it's not it can't be stuck in my head really. I just know like dirty girl soup or dirty dirty girl. Ba, 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 ba. Um, furnished chamber. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Cooling pump entrance. Let's go deal with this thing. Let's get rid of it once and for all. I'm assuming. <laughs> Shit, what now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. It's exactly what he said last time. He's very clever. He's trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fist. Wait, why are you saying the exact same thing again? Of the fight, I'm sure. I need to remember this. I was... I... Okay, it's 
like it's over this side. What the? Wait, why isn't it here anymore? I did this a long while ago. I guess it doesn't work right now. Weird. Wait, yeah, it is here, right? Oh no, it's not. Or is it? Oh, wait, I forgot to actually track it. Oh, it's not. Um. But it kind of has to be, cause like. Are you kidding me? Oh! What? Is this the one? Is this what is happening right now? No, oh, oh, so it's something else that it's happening, the major threat. We have plus 31. Oh my god. Wait, what's this? Look it up. Oh, right, I picked something up. That's what. Oh, this is it. I feel like I'm gonna miss this, but it's whatever. <laughs> I don't really understand where that is, but this is where it is, okay. Home station. Hello again, Mr. Clog. You hey, where? really let yourself go. Oh, ooh. Water cooler procedures. Um ID simulacrum. AI 53-KE. Acquisition date. Um, uh, September 3rd, 2001, containment location, Panopticon, floor 5, unit 11. Uh, containment procedure. No unique procedure required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. Description slash altered effect. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It has been known to take the form of the following objects. Ring of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler, glasses, mail tube, spoon. Mm. Mail tube. I guess that could be an issue for people. Um, I remember that note about the mail tube. Um, the item is able to is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. It only occurs when it is unobserved, physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula I.14 or I.32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. Uh, background. The item was initially discovered within the bureau itself, whether an agent brought it inside, intentionally or otherwise, or it resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house is unknown. Okay, interesting. Interesting that I could grab that. Mm. 
But how do I, can I shoot through? I just missed or something. This is what I'm doing need for, for that because there's no none of those in here, but there may be some that can bring from outside. They're gonna respawn though as soon as I go outside. I just constantly have anxiety because I well I don't want to die number one and go back to the fucking um, drop point. I also don't want to fail survival tactics, but if I don't want to fail it, I need to fight as well. So. We're right here. I got one, I got one. I'm assuming this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what else it would be. Mm. Okay, yeah. But what did it do? Did it unlock this? No. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So it's not, I need one more. Okay. And that's gonna open that, I think. Now they're gonna come down, right? Yeah. Right, I need to remember I can throw those back now. Like, that is a thing I can do. I have the ability to do. Ah! I never did that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Must die. Do I do is must die. There we go. Activate the training pump. Okay, how? Oh, here. Go to the lower level and push back the clog. We should go down there to clear out the rest of it. Okay. Let's go. What even is that? Oh, the clog. Like, what is that? Like, is it literally just, like, sewage, like, shit and stuff? Or, like, what is it? Because, like, that's what I assume, right? Because it's super and gross. But, like, I don't know. I'm not actually sure what it is. Because, like, I was struggling when I was uh, making the, the title for part seven. I was like, what the fuck? I can't just say like oh it's this because i don't know so i basically just was like get me out of this sewer Goodbye, mr Kong. i sincerely hope we never meet again mr Kong. Ooh, okay, well, easy enough. Hmm, that was really easy, actually. I, I was expecting- Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm gonna jinx myself. Um, I got ability points and everything. Um. Okay. 
Oh god. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Let me just look in here. Um Yeah, I finished. Hmm. Uh got some weapon mods. This one for Pierce. Aimed fire boost. Damage while aiming, cool. And this is Oh, this is a rare one. My first rare. Um shadow recoil efficiency, two percent. It's the same as this uncommon one. Where is this? Like, it's not on the map, so like... Well, it's, that's a sector maintenance one, so I guess it's not in the sector maintenance. <laughs> I should go back to Ati and like tell them, hey, I did it. Also, what's this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know. Yeah, that's why. That's why I can do it, because I should I do that. Yeah. Thank God I figured that out. <laughs> that would have been kind of annoying in editing, being like, oh, this is probably why you should do this. Oh my God, please. And then I never do it. Which I get annoyed at myself a lot like that when editing. <laughs> So, if you feel that way sometimes, trust me, you're not alone. <laughs> um, is there anything in here? Like, what? what is the point of opening this? You know? Oh, this is the point. Or... Huh. No, what is the point of this? Because... This is the side I was on, obviously. Like, wh what is the point of this? Oh. I think maybe this is where I was supposed to get these from. Right? <laughs> it was here. This is where I was supposed to get them, I guess. Okay. Is it really nothing else? Like, is that really all it was? Because that feels kind of weird, right? I don't know. Let's try and put this on the one out here. Because I was wondering if I could do that. Too far away, I guess. Oh. Now it's on there? Was it always? I feel like it wasn't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> what do I know? Not a lot, I guess. Uh. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Let's just get out of here. Oh. Wait, what? How? Oh, right, there's an elevator. Right, 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 sorry. That's how I get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's so fucking stressful. Jesus Christ. Get me the fuck out of here. There. Wait, how many assets do I have? Oh, wait, I didn't. Oh, right, I got a new one. It's Astro Blip. I, like, noticed it when I got it, but I didn't look. Um, get me the fuck out of here. Right now. I don't like it here. That bit in part seven, where I was like, people with blue eyes be like, that shit took so long to edit. Like, it was like, I don't know. It, it's, I, I spent so much time on that edit and it wasn't even that good. Cause it was complicated. I don't know why it was complicated, but it was, it was hard. <laughs>
like the part where it, like zooms in on me and Jesse. Like I, that part, like it wasn't like complicated. Like it was, I knew what I was doing. Like it was fine, but it just it took a while. It was like a lot of work for that little tiny little bit that wasn't even that good. But <laughs> wait, where's the? Oh right, it's up here. This is where the fucking. Oh wait, this this. Uh... Hi. Does this guy have some stuff to say? I've been getting reports that something's tearing up the training grounds. Oh. Might be worth checking out. Okay, but I, I don't think I can get in there is a the problem. But yeah. I should be going. I already know that's a right. thing, buddy. You gotta lock down the lift. Okay. Where's this num pneumatics thing? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, uh. <laughs> I'm forgetting about my melee, damn. I feel like I need more health, because I'm, like, always terrified of dying all the time, so... Yeah, let's get some more health. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea for me. Ooh! Additional personal mod slot! Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Okay. Let's see. Wait, let me just go to where I want to go first. Where the fuck is pneumatics? Have I never got gone there? Because if I haven't, why is there a fucking... Um... Oh, there it is! It's right here. So the easiest way to get there seems to be from dead letters. As soon as I get in there, it's gonna stop, spawn a bunch of enemies. Dirty, dirty girl, pray for me. <laughs> I think <laughs> those are the words. Um, through communications department. Oh, bureau alert. Eliminate his targets. Oh, so I'm here. Okay. This is it. Here. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, lady. Oh, god. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ha 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 so dumb. Totally not losing my mind. Why did I... Okay, genuinely, why did I decide to go and do that? Like, why did I decide, oh, you know what would be great when I'm so close to succeeding? Let's do something difficult. Where I have a high chance of dying. That's smart. Like I don't, sometimes I don't know what goes through my through my brain, but to be to be fair, I have not truly woken up yet. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. I don't want to check the training course because I think that's yeah, I think the, the object power stuff, so new power. So I want to do that. 
because I guess I can now. Um, it is the closest one. Because, like, I feel like, well, he mentioned it, so I feel like that means I can do it now, right? Or maybe I can't, and I need to, like, move on with the main story, probably. That's probably what it is, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, this actually isn't a good location. I need to go to the power plant, that's the one that gets me to that, yeah. This is the closest one, actually, because it's on the right level. And it is over here. Oh. That's great. <laughs> Dirty dudes must die. Dirty dudes must die. Dirty dudes Who mm -hmm. will pray for you when your body is gone? So how do I deal with that? Is the question. I, I think I just gotta go on with the main quest. <laughs> okay, where do I go for that? Not here. Oh. Jesus. She made a shit out of me. Yay! Alright, I got another personal monster. I forgot. Um, okay. So I have health plus 17%. Okay, now. Um, launch energy cost. Eh, I think it's fine. Evade energy cost. I think it's fine. Health recovery per element pickup. That could be good. Energy recovery speed could also be good. Yeah, health recovery. What? No. There we go. Okay. What do I get here? Ammo cost per shot. Oh, that could be good. I was I actually am struggling with that. Um but these are two good ones. Well, just general damage over damage after kills. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now I have ammo cost per shot and damage for grip. Okay. All right, it's all good. Okay, where is it? I need to go. Is it here? Is that where I should go forward? Wait, what's these? Hmm. I'll pray for you. Yeah, it's definitely from logistics. Let's go over there and let's finally go forward where I, I'm i sure I intended to go when I ended there. Um, but yeah, shit happens. Um. I'll pray for you when your body's gone. Wait. Did I ever go? I didn't go back to talk to Ati. Damn. Okay, I need to do that. Ugh, I need to do that because I think he's probably going to give me another mission, right? Or maybe, or he's going to give me a reward or something. I don't know for completing it because 
sorry. Sorry, y'all. I think probably we're gonna end it right where we started. <laughs> uh, like right there, like about to go into that door. But then we're actually gonna go into it because I'm recording the next part immediately after, so it's all good. But, well, sorry if you were like, if there's like some really exciting shit that happens when you go through those doors. Uh, I really want to figure this out, but I feel like think it's like a barrier spell or something. Spell ability, probably. I'm gonna get there. I'm like I'm constantly stopping myself from like singing. Dirty juice must die because. Ooh. Ooh, I said this last time, Otti. Be original. No, he doesn't have a mission for me. Monday at 10. Hmm. I didn't really look around here. No. No, 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 no. Stick to the stuff you know. If you wanna be cool, follow one simple rule. Don't mess with the flow. No, no. Stick to the status quo. No, 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 no. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Which, but, High School Musical, like, has some fucking bangers. That being, that is one of them. Like, that's from High School Musical 1. F a fucking banger. Like, it's one of those songs that I, like, I don't know, I just, I, it doesn't feel like it's from High School Musical, you know? It, like, it just feels like a, mu a song from a musical. Which, like, obviously, High School Musical, yeah, but you get what I mean. Like, an actual musical. <laughs> Um, damn, that makes me sound so, like, gatekeepy, but that's not even what I mean. I mean, like, a Broadway musical <laughs> is what I mean. <laughs> I don't mean, like, it's, it's not valid as a musical. No, it doesn't, no. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm, I'll go for a bit more. I've been noticing that I've been, like, aiming specifically for one hour instead of, like, for an hour and a half or two hours, which I'm willing to go up to. But it's, like, the most comfortable editing job for me, like, that I feel consistently, like, cool with is working with, like, an hour of footage. I'm cool with going over that, but... Like, if, I ha if I'm having, like, a bad day energy-wise on an editing day and the recording is, like, an hour, 40 minutes, it's, like, ugh, rough. But, you know, so that's why I think, but... I don't know. It's interesting because going from, like, recording for, like, seven hours to... <laughs> An hour is like kind of funny but it's because i needed it because that was like actually like f fucking up my entire like everything <laughs> okay wall of honor in memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces to force and i moved it because my webcam <laughs> uh, to, uh, to forces known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind we honor their sacrifice. Do you? That sound is meant to trick you to, that people are coming to get you. So when they do come get you, it'll be like, oh, rip. Okay, let's see if I recognize any of these names. Jesse. Another Jesse. Okay, these talk things are actually freaking me out, like how they're talking here. It's actually freaking me the fuck out. I don't know what it is. It sounds scary to me. Yeah, I don't recognize any of these names, but cool. All right. <clears throat> Notice security checkpoint. All presence around you are subject to search. Be prepared to remove shoes and large cores. Electronic devices will be inspected. What is this about? This place kind of freaks me out. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm scared.
am I doing? 10 out of 50 still. Okay. Oh, this power plant. Medical wing. And it's like this? It's not great. Damn. Wait, health boost, health boost. Did I get a better one? Sure did. Yeah, from seven, plus 17 to plus 28. Fuck yeah. Give me that. That's me twice. Fuck yeah, that's great. The hell? All right, wait. This is the only way I can get in. What are you even trying to do? Wait, can I? No. I should have thrown it back, but I waited too long so I got scared. Where did that even come from? That that's the problem. I don't know where to throw it back to. I think I have to go forward and probably then I can get back. Wait, that's the security wing. Oh, wait, there's like a wall that leads in there, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, there's like another way in. No, I can't go in, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Hmm. Okay, so there's there's something I'm missing. Gotcha. Like, there's something in here that's supposed to... I have to remove all metal? How do I do that? Can I, like... Unequip my guns? I mean, if so, I don't know how. <laughs> that it's metal. Can you grab something that isn't metal? Like... Is there anything here that isn't metal that I can grab? Oh, this isn't. This is not metal. Dude, I mean... Emittance without security, but like, what am I missing, right? Genuinely, what the fuck am I missing? <laughs> I 
don't know. Um, okay, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out in the next part. I'm gonna end it right here after that struggle of confusion. I might have to like go back and talk to Emily or or, you know, go back and just do open all those doors with clearance two and three and see if I find anything there. Because I still do want to do that, because I don't want it to, like, pile up to where I have, like, security clearance two, three, four, five. Well, maybe that would would be better, though, but I'm too impatient for that. I want to see now. So I'll, I'll, like, go through the older places in the next part, I guess. If I can't figure this out right away. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed part nine of Control. Uh, this one was a bit of a struggle. I babbled a lot at the start and then I just struggled a bunch, got confused. Just shit that happens when you, when I don't play for five days. <clears throat> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Um, hopefully next part should be a bit less of a mess. But maybe it's okay if it's a mess. Maybe that's just my brand. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, uh, make sure you... I forgot to say this at the start, because my, whole, my brain is a whole mess. Because um, I, I prefer saying it at the start, because I think more people are going to actually hear it if it's at the start, instead of being like... Um, at the very end, because a lot of people, they get to the outro video and they just like, okay, I leave now. Um, but um, make sure you do your data click, it's at the top of the description, and most of, more importantly, check all the other links, uh, like there's donation links, boycott information, at just educa education in general for uh, Palestine, Sudan, and Congo. Um, so please do check them those out. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.